Disney Plus. Stream now for just $4.99. October 6th, 1973. Egypt and Syria launch a surprise attack. Israel finds it difficult to fight back. With over 100 SAMs in the canal zone, Egypt has created a deadly umbrella of defense. 20 miles wide, 100 miles long, and 50,000 feet high. For Israel, it's virtually impenetrable. On the first day, they lose 40 planes to anti-aircraft artillery. It was obvious that air power was not going to work as it had before. The IDF must turn to a different weapon, the Centurion tank, or as the Israelis call it, the Scourge. Its power lies in its latest upgrade, the high-power 105mm cannon, capable of firing armor-piercing ammunition. Essentially, all the tanks in frontline service with the Israeli army were armed with this 105mm gun. These were absolutely devastating against armor. Normal combat ranges out to and above 2,000 meters. Despite their firepower, Israel's tanks are falling quickly. In the Sinai, Israel loses more than half their tanks in less than two days. On the northern front, the situation is even worse. One of the most ferocious battles of the entire 1973 conflict is up in the northern sector of the Golan Heights. After two days of fighting, Israel's 7th Tank Brigade collapses from 105 tanks to seven. Syria is about to overrun Israel and take back the Golan Heights. But then, a game changer. Reserve soldier Major Yossi Ben Hanan arrives with a small team of Israeli reinforcements, including 13 fresh tanks. He had returned from honeymoon in Tibet on hearing of the outbreak of war, and he rushed back to Israel. Ben Hanan hits the Syrians in the flank, bringing the last, the final Syrian offensive to a halt. Hanan's brigade buys time for the arrival of more Israeli reinforcements. Within two days, Syria loses over 600 tanks to anti-tank fire, mines and trenches, and begins to pull back. It's a victory that also turns the tide for Israel in the south. The Assyrians pleaded with the Egyptians to say, come out of your defensive positions and please push into the Sinai and take some of the pressure off our front. 